in just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to upload and publish your YouTube videos using just your phone. And the process is actually very simple. As a matter of fact, I've made a video covering this process about a year ago. And I noticed that that video was really helpful for a lot of people, but some things have changed with the UI on the YouTube app. So this video is more like an update showing you the current way to publish your YouTube videos using your phone. To get started, you can start uploading your video directly from the YouTube app. But right now, you can also upload a normal long form video from the YouTube Studio app. I'm going to show you how to use both methods, but generally, if you're uploading a long form YouTube video, I recommend you just use the YouTube Studio app because that's where you get all the settings you need to publish your video. If you use the YouTube app, you still need to come over to YouTube Studio to complete some settings before you finally publish your video. So if you currently don't have these two applications on your phone, you can just go to your Play Store or the App Store and install the both of them and then sign into your YouTube channel on both of the apps. So before we go over to YouTube Studio, let me show you how you can start the upload process directly on YouTube. So just open YouTube, then on the nav bar at the down here, you are going to see this plus icon, click on it. Over here, there are four separate tabs. If you want to upload a normal YouTube video, make sure you are on the video tab. Or if you're uploading a YouTube short, just come over to short. Or if you want to go live, you can come over to the live tab. Or if it's a community post, just come over to post. Right now, I want to upload a normal YouTube video. So I'll come back to video and then select the video you want to upload. Then click next. Usually, you would want to add a thumbnail to your video, which is basically the picture people see on YouTube before they click on your video. To do that, click on this Add Thumbnail icon at the top left corner and then select the thumbnail you want to use. I designed this thumbnail with Canva and I've made a video covering how I use Canva to create my YouTube thumbnails. That video will be in the description. But basically, you just go ahead and click Select. After adding your thumbnail, the next step is to enter the title for your video. And what I do is to have a document where I have all the details I need for this video. So I have the title, the description, and the tags that I'm going to need for this particular video. Having all these details in a single document ahead of time just makes things a little bit easier for me when I'm uploading the video. So I'll just copy the title and then come back to YouTube and paste it in the title field. Then for the description, I'm going to copy my description. And paste it right here. Usually different creators have different ways they write their description. But the basic idea is to tell people what the video is about. Then you can include relevant links. I also like to add timestamps to my video to make it easy for viewers to move around the video. So if somebody wants to see just a particular section of that video, they can easily jump to that section using these timestamps. Then I also link other videos that are related to this video on my channel. Then I have my email if people want to reach out to me for business. Then I have the link to my social media profiles and all of that. So once you have your description, the next step is to select the visibility for your video. So public simply means it will be available for everybody to see on YouTube or you can make it members only. That means only members of your channel can get to see that video with unlisted. Only people with the link can actually see that video. Then you can also make it private so that you need to give people access before they can get to see it. You also have the option to schedule the video for a future time. Just come over to schedule, then select the date and time you want to publish the video. But let's say you want to make the video public right away. First, let's set the visibility to unlisted because there are still some settings we need to work on inside YouTube Studio before we finally make our video public. 
So I'm going to set this to unlisted and then the next step is to select the audience for your video. And for this, you have two options, either made for kids or not made for kids. Just select the one that is appropriate for your video. For me, it's not made for kids. And then if you want to add age description to your video, you can do that from here. And after that, you can add a location. I rarely use that actually. Then you can also add your video to a playlist on your channel. Then for the altered content option, I'm going to select no because none of this description apply to my video. But you want to select the one that is appropriate for your video. And then allow short remixing. This will basically let others use clips from your video to create YouTube shorts. You can select the option that you prefer. And then finally, the comments. If you want to have comments, you want to make sure that this is turned on. Or if you don't want comment, you can turn this off. But of course, I want to have comments on my video. Then you can select the moderation level. If you don't want any moderation, basic, strict, hold all, depending on the one you prefer. I usually just go with basic. And with this, any potentially inappropriate comment will be held for review. So you can manually review that comment and then decide if you want to allow it on your video or not. So select the option that works best for you. And once you have all of this in place, you can go ahead and click upload to start uploading your video. This is going to take some time depending on the size of the video. After the video is done uploading, just open your YouTube studio, come over to content, and this is where you are going to see all your channel content. And this is the video we just uploaded. And like I mentioned earlier, you can upload normal long YouTube videos directly from inside YouTube Studio. So if you click on this plus icon, you'll be able to select the video you want to upload. Then you can basically follow the same process of adding thumbnail, title, description, set the visibility. And you can see here, you get the extra option for monetization and all of that. The only thing is that you cannot upload YouTube Shorts, go live, or create a post from inside YouTube Studio for now. Maybe that will come in the future. So back to the video we, we are working on. After uploading your video, you are going to see it under the content tab. Just click on it and click on this edit icon at the top. Here, you want to come over if your channel is monetized you can turn on monetization for this particular video. And then you can also come over to more options. This way you can get to add tags to your video. So I have the tags that I want to use. I'm going to copy all of these. And then come over and paste it right here. And short remixing. We've worked on that already. Then you can add a category to your video. This is another option that is not available from inside the YouTube app. You also have this option to show how many viewers like the video. And then you can select the license. I usually just work with the standard YouTube license. Then I also allow embedding. And once you are done with all of that, you can just come back here and then click save to save all the changes we've just made. Usually when you upload a new video, YouTube is going to run copyright checks. And if your channel is monetized, they'll also do a monetization check. And if you don't have any issues, no restrictions, you are ready to make your video public. So I'm going to click on this edit icon again, and then come over to visibility, just select public. At this point, all you need to do is to hit the save button and immediately your video will be live on YouTube for people to see. So I hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section. I'll try my best to respond to your questions. And if you want me to make more videos like this, just say the thumbs up button and subscribe so I'll be the first to know anytime I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.